What's up, comic comrades? Are you ready for another Spider-Man No Way Home leak featuring Andrew Garfield? I know we are. Stay tuned till the end of the video and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and check that notification bell. The third and possibly final Marvel Cinematic Spider-Man film, Spider-Man No Way Home, is coming out December 17th. And it's hard to think of another superhero movie in recent years that has been this plagued with casting leaks. From a still-rumored cameo from Daredevil's Charlie Cox, to Alfred Molina straight up spilling the beans that he was reprising his role as Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man No Way Home is certainly trying to dominate the 24-hour news cycle. And to add further fuel to the fire, there is now a fresh unofficial video that purports to confirm Andrew Garfield reprising his role as the wall crawler on the set of No Way Home. Garfield first portrayed the web-slinger in 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man and once again in 2014 for the sequel. Although Garfield's portrayal was mostly acclaimed by fans and general audiences, both movies didn't do so well as their predecessors. And once Tom Holland was cast in the MCU, it seemed like Garfield's days as the teenage superhero were finished. However, with the Loki recent dive into the multiverse, that portal has been opened again. We already know from the record-breaking first Spider-Man No Way Home teaser that Alfred Molina will be reprising his role as Doc Ock, the character he first portrayed in Tobey Maguire's sequel, Spider-Man 2. It has also been established that Jamie Foxx will be returning as Electro, the supervillain he played in the second Garfield Spider-Man film. However, given the fact that there have been multiple Spider-Man littered throughout the multiverse in both comics and other media, fans are expecting an appearance from Maguire and Garfield as well. And while no formal confirmation has been made, with the actors playing coy and the studio being tight-lipped, there's been no shortage of rumors and alleged set photos and videos popping up online, including a new rumor how old the Peter Parker variants will be. The new theory suggests that Toby and Andrew's versions of Spider-Man are coming from different points in time. The amazing Spider-Man Peter Parker is appearing after his battle with Rhino, but Sam Raimi's Spider-Man is returning years after his last movie. This way, we could get old Peter Parker, who is Maguire's actual age, maybe even with a daughter similar to the plot of the cancelled Spider-Man 4, or the multiple comics where he has a child with superpowers. Mayday Parker, I'm looking at you. Unfortunately, similar to the Peter Parkers, the other MJs are not confirmed to appear in the movie. Although Kirsten Dunst and Deborah Ann Wall from Netflix's Daredevil series were spotted in Los Angeles while Spider-Man No Way Home reshoots were happening. But let's get back to the pictures of Spider-Man. We knew well ahead of the Avengers Endgame premiere that all the superheroes that died in that shocking Infinity War cliffhanger will be resurrected in the next Avengers film. It just made sense for the plot and Marvel's plans to have those heroes return to life. In the year between the two spectacular Avengers installments, we saw quite a lot of incidental indication showing that the snapped heroes will return in Endgame. Yet Marvel kept claiming the deaths were final and we needed to agree with them. Fast forward to Spider-Man No Way Home and we have a similar problem. We know that three Spider-Man will appear in this multiversal story, as was the case with Endgame. This major spoiler will not ruin the movie, but unlike two years ago, Sony keeps confirming that the big No Way Home story spoiler we've seen over and over again is real. Soon after Sony released the first No Way Home teaser, we saw a small number of purported pictures appear online. Now, this isn't rare for films. We keep seeing them all the time and everybody sees them as unverified leaks. The same thing occurs with plot spoilers as well, and we saw quite a few Spider-Man 3 story leaks so far. One of these recent pictures displayed what seemed to be Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in Spider-Man costumes. They were on top of scaffolding while shooting a mysterious film. The first image was very unclear, provoking some people to speculate that someone had modified it. It is essential to remember that in this day and age of deepfakes and high-tech computer graphics, it would be better to take this video with a huge grain of salt. It's also unclear who initially took the video, and as a result, it's difficult to define exactly when and where it was taken. When you think about it, ever since rumors began that Spider-Man No Way Home will be a multiverse story, numerous fan creations picturing Garfield returning to the Marvel world have appeared online. But I digress, let's get back to the pictures of Spider-Man. We got another picture showing the scaffolding in the set from a new perspective, and then we got a much better picture that showed Garfield from a different viewpoint. Now, unlike the original image, this one made it clear that the actor had suited up to play Spider-Man again, despite his multiple denials. In my honest-to-god opinion, the Spider-Man No Way Home leaks are either Sony's worst nightmare or an amazing marketing campaign. Like, regardless of how Sony and Disney may feel about the big surprise being spoiled over and over again, it's not all bad news. 
The continuous flow of leaks means fans keep talking about the future film, and that online talk right there is the best promotion Sony and Marvel may hope for. Since the first trailer arrived, we saw the three connected photos that seemed to confirm the film's biggest surprise. Rather than leaving the images alone, Sony confirmed they were genuine by filing copyright claims against each one of them. But you know what's even better than seeing Garfield dressed as Spider-Man in a photo? A No Way Home video leak from the same scene. The short clip comes from Instagram user Spider-Fan and displays what appears to be Garfield donning his Spider-Man costume, standing in front of a blue screen on what might be a bridge or scaffolding of some type. His mask is off and he seems to be talking to someone. Now, it should be emphasized that this footage is unconfirmed and could be fake. It could simply be behind-the-scenes shots from The Amazing Spider-Man or its sequel. That being said, if it is fake, it is extraordinarily good. Now, back to Sony and their choice to file for copyright claims. That in itself is odd at best. There's no way to remove images and videos off the internet entirely, and Sony should have known better. The only thing they accomplished was to confirm that these pictures, which were all leaked by the same mysterious spider fan, are genuine. Those copyright claims confirm that the content in the images belongs to Sony, which in turn means that they also confirm the big No Way Home plot spoiler that everyone knows. In case you needed a reminder that the movie is a multiverse story that will deliver three Spider-Man variants, Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. First, Sony removed the image showing Garfield's face. A few days later, they took down the set photos showing the scaffolding against the blue background. Strangely, the image showing both Maguire and Garfield remained on Reddit. That one was the photo that leaked right after the No Way Home teaser was released. To quickly recap, the images showed Maguire and Garfield dressed in Spider-Man suits. They were standing or crouching at the top of a scaffolding, with plenty of blue screen surrounding them. These images only suggested they are on a set shooting for No Way Home. It's Sony's copyright claims against those photos that particularly confirmed they're legit. But the still images might not have been photos at all to begin with. They might have been screenshots from No Way Home videos that have no VFX attached. In any case, that's what the new video leak suggests. That single 4-second clip had almost 400,000 views on Twitter. That's an incredible number, further proving how enthusiastic viewers are for No Way Home. Then again, the first trailer broke the endgame record, so Marvel fans clearly care about this movie. And it also shows that many fans are already aware that Maguire and Garfield will be Spider-Man alongside Tom Holland. It is uncertain where the video leak came from, but it has that same Spider-Fan watermark as all the leaked photos that Sony took down. One of those screenshots probably came from this specific scene, so I think it's only a matter of time before Sony removes it from Twitter. But plenty of people would have seen it by then. Not to mention that the clip is already uploaded on YouTube, even if this one disappears. That said, we have no idea what's happening in this scene. Garfield's Peter Parker version sure looks pretty shaken up. Or maybe it's just the actor who's being super thoughtful between takes. Who knows? The video leak has no sound, so we can't hear what Garfield is saying. Some believe he's saying, quote, So there's no way back. But others believe it to be something like that, or so you have white blood. Pfft, go figure. What is noteworthy about it are the hands on the left side. They belong to a different Spider-Man version, and we know from the photo leaks that it's Tobey Maguire's hands. He should be standing in the spot Garfield is looking at, and Maguire is also wearing his Spider-Man suit. Unlike his replacement, though, the original Warcrawler hero actor from the Sam Raimi trilogy hasn't been haunted by reporters regarding his possible appearance. Unlike Garfield, who has been questioned multiple times. In his latest interview, he admitted that no matter how much he denies it, he is unable to convince fans that he's not really in the upcoming MCU flick. I understand why people are freaking out about the concept of that because I'm a fan as well, Garfield shared. You can't help but imagine scenes and moments of, oh my god, how fucking cool would it be if they did that, he adds. The 38-year-old actor doubled down on his denial, saying, But it's important for me to say on record that this is not something I'm aware I'm involved in. But I know I'm not going to be able to say anything that will convince anyone that I don't know what's happening. No matter what I say, I'm fucked. It's either going to be really disappointing for people, or it's going to be really exciting. Despite Garfield's comments, this new clip may just be an indication of people's excitement over the possibility. Although it is worth noting that Jamie Foxx's Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was slightly teased in the latest trailer, and if he could show up, then chances are his version of Spider-Man can also do that. For now, rumors do say that Sony and Marvel will confirm the big No Way Home leaks once and for all in the upcoming second trailer. Both Maguire and Garfield will supposedly appear as Spider-Man variants in the new clip in late October. So, are you convinced all the Spider-Man will finally meet this December? Or did Sony lawyers give you the blue pill? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and web that notification bell. Until next time, peace out.